Hello everybody, this is Tina from Heavenly Mamas. Um, today we are going to make Daisy by, oops, let me see if I can get this up here, by Mark Jacobs um, from Descended. And I have you guys on my left hand side today. Um, we'll see how that works because I got a hood over my stove and my tripod is just too big to put it there and yeah I've almost knocked it off twice already so I've got my tripod sitting in my sink with that on it um, in here I have oh and the notes to Daisy are a strawberry violet leaf ruby red grapefruit, gardenia, violet petals, jasmine, musk, white woods, and vanilla. And in here I have avocado oil, castor, shea and cocoa butter, coconut oil, and this is my lye, my water, my tuss of silk, my sodium lactate, and a little bit of powdered sugar. Um, and then I've also got goat milk powder, goat milk. Um, oh, I can't think. Colloidal oatmeal and white kaolin clay. And I will blend this up again um, before I put my lie in it. How are you all doing this evening? Um, hope you're doing well. I am doing a little bit better, feeling better. Um, let me see here. My colors are going to be winter white from Nurture Soap. This isn't the container it's in, but. And this is not the container. This isn't either, but this is gold dust from Nurture Soap. It's really pretty. I mix some of this up with Sunday Fun Day from Crafter's Choice. And then I have my oranges, the Eye of the Tiger, Nurture Soap, and a little bit of melon color from Be Scented. And emerald green from Be Scented. And the Maniacal Pea from Mad Micah's. It's a very pretty green color. Oh, let me see. Yeah. And then a berry twist, which I just got today in a big container, so I put it in a smaller one. It's a berry twist from Nurture Soap. It's a really pretty mica. See how pretty that is? What I mixed this with a little bit of the Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micas. Now, let me see where I can set these out, out of my way. Don't have as much room with this on the left hand side of me because I don't have all of my counter space or where you guys can see anyhow. Um, okay. Now, my strainer. And I'm going to try to do um, an in the pot swirl with all these colors. Um, I've got the design in mind, but I don't know exactly how well it's going to work. And it's been, uh, I don't know, about a week, week and a half since I've made any soap. I've been trying to get caught up on everything. I've not really piped flowers before, um, 
but I was trying to make daisies and this is how they came out not too shabby I mean some of them actually look like little flowers see but I'm going to put these on the top not too shabby for the first time other than roses and then I may or may not this is just left over that I piped may or may not use some of those and I might make like a swirl a white swirl with some of the colors not all of them but that's some of them um, piping on the top and then I'll place the daisies and add a little few leaves and my piping tips are going to be the Wilton 352 and the 9FT Kiwani I think that's how you pronounce it piping tips the Wilton 352 is a leaf tip as you all probably already know um Okay, I'm just going to blend this up real quick before I add my lye. I mean, I've already blended, but this stuff settles in the bottom. So, we will blend it again. And I clean everything with um, Dawn Platinum and a little bit of bleach and then I uh, use 99% alcohol to wipe them out before I use them counters and everything but anyhow I'm going to blend this for a moment not that this is very loud because it is not I got this um, stick blender at Amazon, cordless, oh and I love it. Okay, I so much love it. Don't have no cords to mess with. Awesome sauce. My grandson, he's eight years old, called me earlier. No, I would have done had this soap videoed and done. Um, but he was telling me, he's like, Grandma, I got a YouTube channel. Is there any way you can get on it? I don't have no subscribers. Is there any way you can get on it and subscribe? And it's like, yeah, of course I can. So I started watching his little videos. And yeah, two hours later, I think about making my soap. Which is fine. He's just a cute little thing. That he wanted a subscriber, so. But his YouTube channel is I Like You Zayden. That's Y O U. And if anybody wants to scope it out or have them kid, their kids scope it out. Like I said, he's eight years old. He's a cutie. Not just saying that because he's my grandson. But yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, just drain my lye water. I pre-made this. It's been sitting on my counter for a couple of days now, so...
Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Okay. To get to my Glinda. Could have just left it in here. I always do that. Just wanted emulsified, so I don't want to. My clays and stuff already made it fairly thick. Yeah, if I was sitting here to about 6 o'clock in the morning, the other morning, my piping pack busted, my um, soap batter did not want to get sick enough to put in a piping bag. Um, so yeah, piping is, well, there's supposed to be daisies. A couple of them actually look like a daisy, but... Not used to having the camera on the left side of me. Okay, this ought to be good. Almost. Okay, cool. One second, turn the TV, mute it or something. When it comes to your finances, we are here for you. What can you be today? Take a look at the portfolio and make a job. Feel free to chat if you have any more questions. Our JP Morgan advisors are working from home to help guide you through this. Pardon my elbow if it's in your face. touching all that when I go to put it into the colors Make my handle up a little bit okay now making my labels learning how to use Avery um, just now figured out how to actually put little pictures on my labels so my labels have changed they actually have photos pictures of things on them now so just stirring this for a moment to Make sure it's incorporated. Okay. 
guy now. Got my buckets on the opposite side of me. Have my green and that. Scraping my bucket out. Don't know if you can see me or not. That if not, that is what I am doing. Candles and stuff for orders, getting them out, labels, packaging. Taking care of my aunt. My dad's been back and forth to the doctors. Um, that's been crazy. But now I get to make some soap. Yay! Okay. Probably the African shea butter. Every time I use that, um, it gets little black things. Some green. You all see them all here. Trying to get them all in here. Oh, nope, you can't see those ones. Oh well, that'll work. You'll see him. Sorry, but yeah, you'll see him. Okay, it's my spoons. Okay, it starts with me white. Now, I found that winter white gives me the white that I want. So, I really don't I haven't used, since I've been using this winter white mica from Nerf or so, I haven't really used um, titanium dioxide, which is really awesome because I don't like the way it thickens my batter. And this stuff works just great for me, so. 
question becomes, how are we going to find these trucks? We did our best to identify and check out each and every truck that we could see, and we had detectives tracking down records from various trucking companies. While a team of detectives was assigned to tracking down the big rigs seen in the video, the medical examiner's report exposes disturbing clues. I ran out of my little white cups, so I'm using these ones. video on the other day of me cutting one of my the cutting of one of my soaps my strawberry pound cake I think it was and all of a sudden I heard a big pop never had a wire um, off of my soap cutter break yet but yeah it did the other night and let me tell you what that literally freaked me out because I did not know what it was and I had like two pieces to cut and I figured out real quick what it was when it cut when it cut so I can't find my extra wire so I had to go order me some more but that's okay and that soap had sat in the mold for I don't know about a week probably I would say I want really bright, vibrant colors, um, is what I'm going for here. The daisies, all the daisies I've seen are like really bright, some are like fluorescent bright, but But I am proud of my little homemade cool process of daisies. I wore a couple of them, I will admit. I was using a spoon to put the little pieces of paper on. I was piping them onto because I didn't have one of my little nail head thingies or whatever they're called. The little thingies you turn. Um, so don't need all of that I don't think this is a really pretty green don't know if you can see that or not and for the leaves I'm gonna put a little bit in with the coloring um, just to give it that little setting it off type thing Okay, let me just throw these away. Spraying my hands with alcohol to get the glitter out. Not the glitter, whoa, I'm stuck on the glitter, boy. It's been a while, I'm stuck on my glitter. And you know, this soap is getting glittered. But anyhow, you kids might like my grandson's YouTube channel. Never knew he had one. He's had one longer than me. But yeah, he just sounds so sweet when he called to ask me that. It's like, of course I will. He had a video on there I was watching of him learning how to make homemade biscuits. Ooh, I love this orange. Trying to get them all in here, but as you guys can see, my space is kind of cut off with it on this side of me, but mm, that's okay, we'll manage. Oh, 
other women that had been found. The community was alarmed. And I remember the chief of police talking about how they were going to make sure that this person was caught. See how pretty this purple is? It's got like a bluish tint to it. It's really pretty. It's the berry twist and the pow pow purple. Okay, now, oh, my green, don't forget the green. Crash as my kitty cat tried to like jump up on my back porch shelf that my dad built me from my micas and stuff for when I'm soaking in the house. Um, yeah. And to knock some of them off. See, she likes to be up high, so she climbs on everything. Everything that she can. Okay, now. Fragrance. Oh, this smells awesome. Now, when I made the daisies, this thinned it out really. I'm hoping it thins it out. Because I'm not a very fast soaper, as you all know. I mean, I think I'm faster than what I used to be when I first started, but hey. Best things come to those who wait. I will try to blend this like really zap zap type blend um, here as soon as I get the fragrance. Oh, this smells awesome. It's not really strong. Florally clean. It smells really clean. kind of stuffed up because of my allergies but I can smell it I mean it's not really strong or not that I can smell real strong it's definitely feminine though And it's definitely thinning it out, which is cool. I'm just gonna make sure I don't blend it too long. I got a bad habit of that. Bad, bad habit of that. See, look how white this is, and that's white enough for me. I mean, it'll come out whiter than that when it's the soap is actually done doing its thing. Okay, now I'm going to mix, mix, mix for a minute. Just to get it well incorporated. And then I will grab my mold and we can make some soap. Pretty, pretty soap with my daisies. Homemade daisies. 
I'm proud of my little daisies. Some of them don't look like daisies, but they definitely look like some kind of a strange little flower. Not bad for the first time. Like I said, some of them actually look somewhat like daisies. I couldn't find the piping tip, the leaf tip that I was actually looking for to make them. So, yeah. That kind of put a damper on that situation. Okay, now. I'm going to just go back in order here. Give it a quick jizz. Not on four though. On low speed. Got the bubbles, darn it. That's why I like the winter white like that. Because it goes, it's such a, it's, it's like a really shimmery, pearly type white. It's a really pretty white and it doesn't thicken your batter, knock on wood. I didn't do that. That's pretty green too, mixture. Trying to get down the colors, the mixing of the colors. Um, never was good at it as a kid in school. But I think I'm pretty good at it as a, yeah. Super. Because these are all pretty good colors, in my opinion. What y'all think? If y'all have any comments, you can leave comments, suggestions, or hey, any advice or anything in the comment section down below. Um, I get back, yeah, read them every night if there is any. Um, and I'm getting ready to open up a shop. Well, I already opened a Shopify um, store up, but I haven't really got my items in there yet because I'm planning on eventually, not right this second, but doing away with Etsy because they're just too expensive. Their fees and stuff are just outrageous. So, 
I have a big cartel, but for some reason, they say my address ain't no address. So, don't know how that's going to work. But you can always email me um, if you want to order something. I have a Instagram, I think it is. Don't have many things on there. I just opened it. I really haven't had time to do anything with it yet. Um, but you can find my emails on the website, Etsy and the Big Cartel and the Shopify. You can always leave me an email if you want to order anything. I do wholesale custom so and I'm going to be having a sale on some of my older soaps um, they're still really good soaps um, they're not really that old I just don't like keeping them that long um, they're only no longer than five maybe five months old but yeah just don't like keeping them that long oops darn it oh I knew that was going to happen figured it happened before now right happens to the best of us oops I'm dropping everything oh, Okay, let me get my mold. I'm going to pause you for a minute. I will bring you right back as soon as I figure out how I'm going to set my mold up. Um, I've got these boxes over here. I think I'm going to set it on. Some alcohol in my pitcher out. I'm going to use to do my pour in. It's kind of an old pitcher, but it's okay. It still works. It still works. Okay. Got that washed out with alcohol. Okay, I will bring you back in one moment.
Okay guys, for some reason, my camera stopped. Well, my tablet. So, let's try this again. I don't know why it did that. I've got my memory card in it, which is most of it still there. Now these bars will be either three fifty, four dollars. I'm not sure. We're probably three fifty. Um, or three for ten. But these are the size of my bars now. The other ones are just, I think they're just too huge. And yeah, I don't like them. These are more regular size spinning type bars. And they will be hard bars, so. And they are cured and I will be caught up on my packing soaps and all of that by the time these are cured and today's the 23rd so I say I made these um I'd say by the 23rd of May these will be in my shop up for sale but you can leave me an email if you want them now and I can make a note for your order that way you will be sure to get some they smell awesome really awesome i might keep a bar for myself i try all my soaps before i sell them my dad uses them my grandkids use them my brother even uses them so yes they are very good soaps. And you always get samples of my body butters, my lip balm, a few samples of my soaps. I have lots of samples in every order. So. With that being said, I will cut one more loaf on camera, and then the other loaf I will do off camera. Let's swirl and that one's different. I like making soap because it's just so much different. Um, get a different design in every bar. I'm actually trying to attempt new pours. Ooh, I like that. New pours, new techniques. Ooh, you can see the little gold, gold dust mica I mixed in with the um, yellow mica. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's very pretty. Hopefully you can. It stands out really well. Nice swirls. I love the swirls. And you get colors on all sides and designs. It's very pretty. But if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. To subscribe to my channel, I would highly appreciate it. Um, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. Um, I will be posting quite a few of them here because I've got a bunch of them I have to edit yet and yeah like I said I've been way behind on everything so I've got to catch up. Nice I like it. I'm actually very proud of this soap. Me and my little flowers. First time ever made. 
Ooh, I like those. Those actually. Yes. Now I do trim up the sides of my soap, but I do not get anything off of this part because when you use it, it will automatically brighten up. And it gives you more soap. So, yeah. But I do do the edges and make it look pretty. But all of those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very, very much. Um, it helps keep me going. I'm glad you guys glad to watch my videos. Um, I do it for the entertainment. And I just like making soaps and things like that. I know I'm not the best, but hey, I never claim to be perfect in any way. But I'm learning new techniques, new swirls. I came a long way from, yeah, when me and Mama used to make it. And then I forgot, and then I started making it again. And I've come a long way from when I made it. So, as that being said... I will show you with this little thin piece that I just cut how good the soap works as soon as I get the tripod out of my sink so give me one second um, and I will bring you back and we will see how good the soap works be right back okay guys over here at the sink, um, I got this little sample sliver piece. Can you see it? I'm just going to show you how well it see the sparkles when it's wet. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I hope you can. It looks so pretty. How well it lathers. Lathers right up. It feels good. Um, it's nice thick lather. Really thick lather. Smooth, rich. Lots of bubbles. And it cleans really good. Feels really good. I just know I'm going to keep a bar for myself because I love the way it feels. The rinse is good. My skin is... I don't know if you can hear this. The squeakiness. It rinses right off. And there you have it. If you like my video, this is Daisy by Mark Jacobs. It will be in my shop on the 23rd of May. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment um, letting me know what you think of my videos. If you have anything you want me to try to make, um, suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And that is it for this video. Stay healthy, stay safe, and blessed be.